Welcome back to Country Cow Designs. I'm Jo. I'm Adam. And we make sewing patterns for bag makers. But in this video, we're going to be making just the piping. We're just going to show you how we make piping to add to our bags, such as this one. So this is the Kedamoth uh, bag. It's our new pattern. There'll be a link to go and see this. I wanted to add piping, so we thought that should show a little video about how we add piping to this bag. And you'll see me sewing it on while Joe takes you through the step-by-step -step instructions. Yep, so it's pretty quick, pretty straightforward. All we're using is quilting cotton and some piping cord. We'll link everything in the description that you might need. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoy this tutorial. This is just a really quick video about piping for bags. So you can buy your piping pre-purchased, um, like one of these. You can see here that the cord inside this piping is a lot smaller than the one inside this one. Um, but the, yeah, there's such a variety of colors that you can purchase um, from your local sewing shop or from eBay or Amazon or somewhere like that. So there's lots of options available. But if you want a very specific color, then this is how we're gonna make it ourselves. Um, so we've just got some plain cotton here in this brown color that's just gonna go with our navy bag. And because we're sewing on a curve, we want to make sure that we're gonna cut this on the bias. So that means we're not cutting it straight, we're gonna cut it diagonally. This means that there will be a tiny bit of stretch in the fabric which will make it much easier to sew onto the bag. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I've got a 45 degree angle on my ruler. So I'm gonna line that up with my bottom edge. This will just help make sure that I've got my diagonal cut. And I'm just gonna cut a length out. So now I've got my first diagonal cut. I'm gonna cut out my piping. Now I wanna have a 3 8 of an inch seam for this, but I've also got some quite thick piping cord. So I'm gonna just cut these strips at two inch to start with because I'd rather have them too big. Once we've created the piping, we can always trim it down if we need to. Okay, so once I think I've got enough, I'm just gonna straighten off these edges here. Now you could actually put this together using these edges, but because it's the edge of the fabric, I just wanna make sure I've got a nice clean cut. Now all of my pieces are ready. What I'm gonna do is join them together. So you want to place them right sides together at a 90 degree angle on the end here. And then I'm just gonna use a fabric pen to mark the end of that one. And then I'm going to draw a line to join the corners together. And we're just gonna sew across this line. Once that's sewn, you can just trim that down. And then we're gonna press it open. So you wanna do that with all of your lengths so that they're all joined together and you just have one long piece of fabric. Once your seams are pressed open, you're gonna to want to get your piping cord. So I'm using a pretty big one for this. I think it's about five millimeters. Um, and we're gonna put it down the center, but to try and stop it from like moving around, um, just make things a little bit easier, I've got a little bit of glue, just a print stick. And I'm just going to try to use that to sort of stop that from moving too much. So I'm just gonna dab it in little areas as I'm putting the cord down the center. And then what we're gonna do is wrap the fabric around the cord and just bring it back so that it matches the other side of the fabric. So the glue is just there to just give a little bit of extra resistance and stop that piping cord from moving too much. Now we're just gonna do this for the whole length of fabric that we've got cut. Once that's all clipped, we can sew the piping together. So this is much easier to do if you have a piping foot, which will run along the cord and give you a really neat finish with minimal effort. I don't have a piping foot for my machine, so I'm gonna show you how to use a zipper foot. I'm gonna be going as close to the cord as I can get, and I'm gonna use an awl to guide it through. 
Okay, so I've got my main panel. The first thing that I wanna do is cut my piping down to the correct size, because I made enough for two panels. So I'm just gonna do a really, a really rough estimate by just sort of placing it all of what the way around. I just don't wanna be dealing with this whole length of piping when I don't need to. Okay, so I'm just going to trim it to that length. Okay, now the seam allowance that I'm using is 3 eighths of an inch. And the seam allowance on my piping is 5 eighths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna trim this down so that it's only got 3 eighths of an inch overhang. Now my piping is ready, I'm going to attach it. Now I wanna start on the center. So I've got the center marked on my bottom edge and that's exactly where I'm gonna place the piping. Now, as you go around the curves, you're probably going to need to snip into this a bit. This will help you get it to spread around the curve, which is gonna be much better when you're sewing it later. As I'm going around the curves, I'm stretching it so that the piping will be nice and tight and it's then not gonna stretch when I'm sewing it. Okay, so now I've got down to the bottom. You can see that this is a little bit longer here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it so it matches perfectly to where I started. Okay, now I know this is a slightly unusual method for doing this, but this is um, Adam's idea and much better, neater if you ask me. So I've got a piece of the fabric left over. I'm just gonna cut out a small square. So I've cut a piece out of my fabric that's two inches by two inches. And then what I've done is I've just folded the edges over slightly. So now I'm gonna wrap this around those raw edges. And what we're just gonna do is just, just make sure it's centered now you can use a little bit of Fabri-Tac glue or something like that if you want to, to hold that in place, or you can just clip it in place. And there you go. So take that over to the sewing machine. We're gonna sew the piping on the whole panel. Again, you can use your piping foot if you have one or a zipper foot if not. So there's your finished panel. If you want to see the rest of this bag being made, you can watch our Kedamoth messenger bag video, which will be linked above. Thanks for joining us.